Hi everybody, I'm Janet Robin, and today we're going to learn a little bit more advanced finger picking in the in the genre of blues. Um, why I think it's a little more advanced? Well, you still have your Travis picking going on with your alternate bass, but we're doing more complicated uh, melody lines, and also I'm going to show you how to add another finger. So now instead of just the three fingers, we're going to add the ring finger in the right hand picking. I'm but other than that, it's similar to many other just regular basic Travis picking. It just moves a little bit faster. And uh, like I said, there's more notes in the melody. All right, so I was just using basic blues chord, uh, E and then A7, B7, sometimes moving it up, right? So that's easy. Let's talk about the right hand. We're having this bass line going on, right? So sometimes some of the bass notes are going to be on their own. Sometimes they're going to be picked with a melody note. So in this case, I'll show you how it goes. Six on its own, and then four and two. Okay, four and two is going to be picked with middle and thumb. And you're going to go right back to six. Okay, right back to six because we have to keep this going. Okay, this is what happens next. Put your pinky down, second string, second fret. Little blue note here. Okay, so after the six, you're going to hit two. Still only using these two fingers, all right? Six, two. And then right after two, you're going to hit your bass note with your thumb on four. Because remember, we're keeping this going. All right, here we go. Six, two, four. Now, I'm going to introduce ring finger and it's gonna be six and one, right after that pinky thing. Six and one. Six and one. Ring finger and thumb. So that's the first part of that pattern. And then what I did was I added more melody at the end. And I'll show you how that sounds, right? four and three is next. Now we're introducing our first finger, string three. Four and three, four and three. Four, three, right after the six and one. Okay. Four, three. Right back to six. Four, three, six. All right, we're going to add another note now. If you need a break, take a break. Back to your E. Six. Six and two. The last note will be four. All right. So that is four, three, six, two, four. All right. Let's put it together real slow. So I stopped earlier on the other one. You can stop and let it ring, or you can do the extra melody line. It's up to you. Um, the next chord I'm going to show you is what I do on the A7. 
It's a little bit different pattern, okay? But still trying to keep this sort of bass line. So you still have this. But now we're on five and four. A7, five and four is the bass. Same idea, five on its own, four and two. And then back to five. Four and two, back to five. And then right after you hit five, we're gonna hit uh, with our first finger, string three. And then four directly after that, so we can keep this going. Five, three, four. Five, three, four. It's up to you what you want to, you know, what you want to do at the end. You can hit um, five and two together. Which is similar to the other pattern from the E. Um, I'll show you how to do that. Five and two together. Four, three, five, two, four. Similar pattern to the one on the E. Okay. There's a lot of different things you could do with the A7. You don't have to do the exact pattern. You could just go, the other option would be this. I'll show you that one. Five, four, and two. Five, two, four, two. So three, four, two. Five, three, four. And you could just like repeat that like a roll. So you can kind of experiment with either one of those. They both work and uh, you know, they both have that blues feel. So let's, let's go back to the E and let's try to do the E to the A7, okay? Remember, you have to move down your bass line, your right hand. Here we go. Okay, I did a different one. That one is five, three, four, two, five, three, four. That was the second one I showed you. Back to the E. Okay, so take your time, do each chord separately, repetition on each chord, then try to do them together slowly. And in the next lesson, part two, I'm gonna show you how to do that B7 uh, little move there and what happens on the right hand. So stick around, come back to part two of advanced finger picking blues style. See you then.